Excerpts of Tao Du Jing by Lao Tzu, selected and translated by Claire Wong Li, Wang Kunun. Number one, Tao can be told, but the told Tao is not the eternal Tao. A name can be named, but the named one is not the eternal name. Nameless is the beginning of heaven and earth. The named is the mother of everything. Therefore, not wanting is the way to see the essence of things. Wanting is to see how things come to be. The two leads to the same thing, but has different names. They both can be called sagacious, sagacious, and more sagacious. The most sagacious opens the door to all sagaciousness. Number two, if the people in the whole world insist on what is beautiful, then it is no longer beautiful. If they insist on what is good, then it is no longer good. Being and non-being accompany each other. Difficulty and easiness complement each other. Long and short. Depend on each other, high and low, rely on each other, sound and voice harmonize with each other, front and back follow each other. A sage governs without governing, teaches without words, then everything prospers, and he does not keep himself away from it. He produces them, but does not possess them. He acts, but does not insist on his own ability. He accomplishes things, but does not claim credit for it. Because he doesn't claim credit for it, his accomplishments stay with him. Number three, do not exalt morality and honor, so people will not fight over them. Do not put great value on things difficult to obtain, so people will not steal. Do not display objects of desire, so people will not be disturbed. A sage rules by keeping people's mind quiet, their belly full, their ambition low, their body strong. Keep people simple and not covetous. Therefore, the smart ones dare not do whatever they want to do. Do as little as possible. Therefore, governing becomes a state. Of non-governing. Number seventy-six. When a man is born, he is soft and weak. When he dies, he becomes stiff. All things, grass and trees, are soft and supple while alive. They wither when dead. The stiff and the hard lead to death. The soft and the weak lead to life. If the army is strong. It will not lead to victory. If a tree is big, it will fall. The strong and the big are inferior. The soft and the weak are superior. Number eighty. Let it be a small country with few people. Let it have tens and hundreds of talents, but do not utilize them. Let people value their lives and not move far away. Even if there are ships and carriages, none rides in them. Even if there are armor and weapons, none displays them. Let people turn to a simple way of tying knots to record events. Let them taste delicious food, beautify their clothing, settle down in their homes, and delight in their customs. Neighboring communities look over one another, hearing roosters crow and dogs bark. The people grow old and die, not anxious to visit one another. Number eighty-one. Honest words are not often beautiful. Beautiful words are not often honest. A kind person does not argue. An arguing person is not kind. A learned person does not show off. A show-off person is not learned. A sage does not accumulate wealth. He serves people; therefore, he has more. He gives to people; therefore, he is richer. The way of heaven 
is to benefit, not harm people. The way of a sage is to do things, but not to fight for it.